Now, speaking of things that I'm harvesting out of the soil, one of my favorite root vegetables is sweet potatoes. And I want to show you how to turn a sweet potato into the ooeyest, gooeyest, most decadent sweet potato brownies. What I love about a sweet potato is that one, it adds a nice cakey, moist consistency for a brownie. And this is a nice way of sneaking in a root vegetable that's a powerhouse of nutrition into a decadent treat. I've gone ahead and I've just baked one medium to large sweet potato, and we're gonna get to this in a second. These are raw hazelnuts that I've toasted in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And what we wanna do is take the skin off the hazelnuts. The way to do this is in our kitchen towel, I'm just gonna rub them, and you kinda wanna rub them vigorously. And then you can see all of the skin comes off. And into a food processor, we're gonna put our one and a half cups of toasted hazelnuts. You don't wanna go too long with this because it'll go from being a meal to a flour to a nut butter. It looks pretty good. It's light, it's fluffy, and you can still see sort of the individual grains in here. And the next thing we have to do is make the chocolatey part of our sweet potato brownies. So we have one cup dark chocolate chips that are chilled, and we're gonna pulse our chips. Into here, we have to add our other ingredients. We're gonna need half a cup of almond flour. This is a gluten-free nut flour, so you don't wanna actually pack it all the way in. So I'll take a spoon and spoon it directly into the cup. It's a better way of getting a true measurement of almond flour. Unsweetened cocoa powder. We're gonna do three tablespoons. A pinch of salt. We just mix it all together. And we have our chocolate mixture. It's going into the bowl. Into here, we're gonna take one medium to large sweet potato. You wanna cut it up into chunks. And it's the natural sugar in here that actually helps this recipe. Because if you notice, we're not adding any extra sugar. It's gonna come from this, and it's gonna come from one more ingredient, and it's a medjool date. This is grown on a palm tree. It originated in Africa. They're sweet. I like my brownies a little sweeter, so I'm gonna do 10. And you just wanna make sure they're pitted. We're gonna do a quarter cup of almond butter. It takes about 60 seconds. And it's all gonna go into our dry ingredients. Make sure it's completely incorporated. In our eight inch baking pan, this is a square of parchment paper. Just fit it in like that. Just take a little bit of the batter in little sections, spread it around. It's a little ooey gooey, but that's exactly the way you want it into a 350-degree oven for 30 minutes. And this is what our finished sweet potato brownies look like. We're gonna put them on a board, chop up some hazelnuts, just a rough cut, sprinkle these on top, a dusting of cocoa powder, some chocolate shavings on top would be nice. It's everything you want in a brownie. Do you see how fudgy and amazing these brownies are? Who would have guessed there are sweet potatoes in here? <laughs> Chocolatey, ooey gooey, you have to give this a try today.